Grande shuts down a body shamer in the best way possible. Plus, Justin Bieber covers a work and hotline bling. Also, Harry Styles FaceTimes a fan for 35 glorious minutes. All this and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. Welcome back to DHR. Misty and Ryland are here, and we discovered yesterday we both really like meatloaf. Uh, yes, that is true, and everybody else is talking crap about the meatloaf, but I was like, meatloaf. I like that, but later on in the show, we're talking about Justin Bieber, but first we got some Iggy news. Iggy. All right, Misty, so you all know what's going on between Iggy, I mean, recently in the midst of promoting her new music, one of her fiance's teammates tweeted out a video of her man, Nick Young, talking about cheating on her, mm -hmm. so apparently Iggy is letting it slide this time, rocking her ring to the iHeartRadio Music Awards. You remember that, right? Yep. Okay, well, then she appeared on Ellen telling everyone that her home life was fine, saying that the media was blowing the whole situation out of proportion. Whatever. But now, <laughs> Iggy went on Wild 94.1, and of course, the host brought up her recent situation with Nick Young. So the host, he started to describe the two different types of athlete wife, saying there's the law and order type, the ones that do all the kind of digging, and the ones that accept that they have athletes as wives. And that's when Iggy was like, hold the front effing door and she had this to say. No, I'm because not cool with it. Like, you will have half a penis. Oh, right. oh, oh. Okay, now we not cutting off stuff now. I mean, like, I already I'm said, I was like, one more video, just one more thing, yeah. and you will lose a quarter of your meat. There's the Iggy we know and love. I feel like she's back in a way, right? Back in a way, but she's still kind of standing by her man for now. But the radio host was like, you don't even know if this was true. And she was like, that's true. And until I have some cold, hard evidence, mm -hmm. he can live and have his penis intact. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I guess innocent until proven guilty is how she's treating it. Uh -huh. Would you have done the same? I don't know, if the video came out and I was dating somebody, it would be very hard for me to stand by that person. I would be mortified. But then again, we don't know the inner workings yeah. of their relationship. It is hard to leave somebody. Like, it's very hard to leave somebody When you're love. engaged. Yeah, so. I don't know, I'm not living her situation, but from the outside, it's easy for me to be like, I would jump ship. And then we just get this really funny clip from it. Mm -hmm. Last night somewhere in Texas, in a hotel lobby, Justin Bieber took a break from his purpose tour and sat down at a piano to cover Rihanna's work and Drake's hotline bling, but it's not what you think. First of all, here is Rihanna's work. instrumental covers. I thought he was like really covering the songs, but it's just him on the piano and he sounds amazing. But that's kind of what I love the most. I love acoustic versions of covers yes. rather than like being so high produced. I like the stripped down raw version. Yeah, and so he posted both of these on Instagram. Here is a take a look at Drake's Hotline Blink. Talented. I have a few more thoughts on the whole situation based on looking at the videos. Tell me about it. That's a really nice hotel. Okay. Where are the fans? <laughs> Good point. Where are the dreads? They're covered by a hat. Okay, all right. Yeah. Also, would you pay to go to a Justin Bieber piano recital? Uh, I would more so pay for that than his actual concert. I feel like it's more intimate. You get to hear his voice a lot more than the actual show where he's lip singing because he's doing so much dancing. I'm about it, would you? Yeah, I mean... You wouldn't? No, I would go. I would go. I'd be like, Justin, take that hat off. I want to see them dress. Okay, here's a really cool idea that I just thought of. What if there was like, you know how iHeartRadio puts on um, like Jingle Ball, where a bunch of artists come and they perform like a few songs and this is a big event. What if all the artists came and they did the talent that you don't normally see them do? Like someone's just playing guitar, someone's just playing the piano. Like I would go see that. What do you think Justin's talent would be? Well, piano or okay. guitar. He does a lot. So that's what he's essentially doing and you said you wouldn't pay for a ticket. No, but I would pay not just to see him, but I'm saying I would pay to go see a lot of artists do that. Okay, I together. agree. Together. I think that would be cool and I hope they're listening. All right, Misty, Ariana is firing back at an online troll that said in her recent Dangerous Woman music video she looked like a Ooh. All right. That's so not nice. 
<laughs> so Ari took to Facebook to reply to the derogatory message. The user had this to say about Ariana, writing, quote, Ariana, all respect, but dangerous woman I loved, but the trouble is that in the video, salts, not really sure what that is, like a <laughs> Sorry for the rudeness, I only just said the truth. Sorry. And so that is when Ariana fired back by saying, when will people stop being offended by women showing skin slash expressing sexuality? Men take their shirts off, express their sexuality on stage and videos on Instagram, anywhere they want to all the time. And then she kept saying the double standard is so boring and exhausting. And then she said, with all due respect, I think it's time to get your heads out of your <laughs> Women can love their bodies too. I have a couple things to say about okay. this. I love the head out of the ass thing. Just, she really went for it there. It just really sealed the comment. <laughs> really? And secondly, this whole double double standard thing is real. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to agree with it. I do too. And she's no stranger to doing this. She does this all the time. Last year, she even said she can't wait to live in a world where people are not valued by who they're dating, who they're married to, attached to, having sex with, and seen as an individual I rather remember. than their things. So I love that she uses her platform to speak out on issues that are trending because it is so true. Like guys sexu over sexualize their music videos all the time and people are just like, oh, that's sexy, that's fun, that's cool. He's being she a dude. does it and yeah. she gets called a slut or a yeah. So like, whatever you think about this Ariana Grande music video, like she's living her best life, she's doing what she wants to do, go you, boo. Go Ryland. One lucky One Direction fan got to FaceTime her favorite pop star thanks to Make-A-Wish Foundation. This was Andrea Kasik, whose wildest dreams came true. She FaceTimed with Harry Styles on this huge screen for 35 long or short minutes, I'm not sure. <laughs> and lucky for us, she tweeted the entire experience as any good directioner would. <laughs> Allow me to read her tweets. Thank you so much, Harry. I love so much. You are my whole world at Harry Styles at Make-A-Wish. Thank you for everything. And another one, she said, he knew where I was from, hashtag Venezuela, and he knew my name. I cry like 10 minutes. It was awesome. He's my favorite. His favorite tattoo is Annie's A because it's small. She revealed more about Harry. In another tweet, his favorite movie is Goodfellas, which I'm watching tonight. I should probably go watch that too. <laughs> And here's another truth bomb that she revealed because she asked Harry who he's closest with in 1D and Harry said that he is closest to now because they played golf together. Did we know that? Uh, I didn't know they played golf together. I didn't know that, I love that. I like that little tidbit. And he loves Goodfellas, he's <laughs> an old soul. Could you die if you could <laughs> FaceTime with your favorite celebrity? Who would I FaceTime with? Maybe like Amy Schumer? That would be epic. I kind of, oh, it's hard. I don't know. There's so many people Lady I would want to this time with. Nicki Minaj. You know, I would, because Justin like cancels his meet and greets, I kind of just want to like see what's going on no, inside his mind. I'm no, sorry. I want to see like, I want to talk about the Stop. dreads. I, there's so much to talk about. Stop. Selena, I get it. Um, but do you think this was very kind of Harry Styles? Yes, I mean, Harry's having a great week. Didn't he just buy some fan dinner recently? Yeah. So that's how to get in, in with Harry. He's just like. He knows he's going single, so, walk single around. solo soon. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> there's more, by the way. She said, me and Harry talked for 35 minutes. He's the nicest, most kind person in the world. He told me tons of jokes. He's a true angel. He's an angel baby queen. You know what? I actually believe that. I think Harry Styles is extremely nice. I think very genuine as well. I generous. feel like he's real nice, generous. I'm into it. Real nice, generous. Sometimes I just, no, I'm not gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> All right, Misty or Risty. Ooh. This has been a jam-packed DHR. I loved it, but before we go, I wanna know if you could FaceTime any celebrity in the whole entire world, who would it be? And I wanna know, um, uh, Myland would like to know, what do you think about Ariana Grande responding to that fan? Do you think she was too harsh? Do you think she was right? Do you agree with the double standards? Did you like that video for Dangerous Woman? Tell us so many things to tell us. Just wow. get to it, you have a lot of homework, and then after this, go do your actual homework, and then follow us on social media, because that is your homework after your real homework. Yeah. You have a lot to do. Where can they find you? Misty Kingma, just everywhere. It's my name, it's so easy. And then they can find me, or you guys, they. I'm talking about they. Ryland Adams right over here. You guys, thanks for hanging at Bye, the guys. Dirt. Bye guys, have a good one. And then click to the left to find out if Selena Gomez has written a new song for Justin Bieber. Ooh, or you can click over to the right to see Demi Lovato's endearing fall on stage on. Oh, we day. <laughs> we day.